saw Wolf. We earlier. saw Wolf earlier today. I believe we saw Falco at one point last week. So, and of course the Lucas and Donkey Kong, perhaps the two most often used. We've seen we've seen an Ike as well. Ike does have a very long reach, so that might be the answer in this particular matchup. He's going to go for the Donkey Kong instead. Now picking Donkey Kong into Shulk is very interesting, I'll say. It's dangerous, but if you know what you're doing, if you know the matchup, if this is something you've thought about in advance, you know, perhaps not the worst choice that he could have made. I mean, I don't know. Shulk really kind of preys on these heavy characters with big hitboxes with his disjoints and whatnot, but... Sheenay, where is he placed in the PGR? He's 19th, uh, 19th on SoCal PR. 19th on SoCal PR. So maybe he's got an answer that... Maybe he's got something that I don't know for sure because Sheenay definitely proved me with that with there. And definitely we'll be able to see a different kind of Donkey Kong than previously we've seen before. Yeah, this is going to be a massive test for Sheenay. Number 19 against a top 5 player in SoCal. Nico, of course, hungry for that final spot at SoCal Rising and certainly playing like this to begin. Mm, and, uh, fell early. into a deficit, though. Yeah, early up B, very interesting, but right now they're trading with these aerials and down tilt being searched out, but great spacing from Nico, able to get away. Shulk definitely a character that would demand so much respect and Buster's to be active, so here comes a lot more percentages at 91 we're seeing from Shine. He's trying to find some way in, he's mixing up his approach options, but unable to find a grab. Yeah, one oh. thing we're going to have to see... Good shield just avoids the ding-dong. One thing we're going to have to see impeccable from Shine is that he's going to be near 100. He's going to have to be near 100% on these techs. And I'm going to find it just yet. I love this play from Shine. Mercing him off stage and not over committing to an edge guard. No, certainly. An Woo! excellent, excellent conversion. Just the spike on stage to the up air. Yep, he's able to get it. DK. Donkey Kong is sure is right. Shine doing so much. And here comes... The cargo throw into the air, getting a lot of damage down, using that B reversal, forcing Nico away, and he couldn't armor through it. Yeah, the Smash Art Bear going to finally seal it out. Nico, before things got too out of hand, just found the option, and that's just the beauty of Shulk. You can never really fall too far behind if your neutral game is even, you know, halfway good. And great spot dodge here comes the Ding Dong, and immediately Shield Art going to be called out, but the second jab does catch it out. These F-Fields forcing a little more, 21%, as well, Shine. He's, I think he's got a plan against the Shulk. He certainly does, and we saw, you know, Shield Art expire just at the wrong time for Nico. Very, very lucky to avoid a harder punish. And I like this use of Shine using these down specials in order to be reversal to change his momentum to make it a little less linear. But as soon as I say that, here comes the edge guard. But remember, Donkey Kong is able to get back from those kind of scenarios. And we see some of these up tilts coming in from Nico. It covers the entire platform on PS2 if you're positioned right. Although with Smash Art just expiring, the back door will not kill. And remember, he's really close to the back air. Shilin will force him off stage. Shine avoids the edge guard just like that, but uses the down special, but no, nothing just yet. He's waiting out the shield, and no, he can't find it, so he's going to go for that easy percentage of off. Great air doesn't get away from that up air, so Nico does get the spike, though. Yeah, what an even game we've been seeing so far. Even after that kill, Nico at 156%. Going to have to be careful, going to have to tack on as much as he can with the arts at his disposal. The Buster Art will help his case. And I love this this play from Shine. He's not afraid to be in the corner. No, he isn't. Shine, you know, typically we see these heavies want to play up close, want to approach as much as option. These safe approaches and the super punch from DK. And remember, he was in Buster too, so he's going to take a little more damage than usual. And he reads out these aerial options. Great job by Shine. He knows that when, Ed, when Shell goes for these aerials, he's still safe. So he goes for a oh, jump. Oh, gets the footstool. Oh. No, that's going to be it for Shine was playing so excellently up until that point. We just saw, you know, they're both smirking. What, a, what an anticlimactic way to finish off that game after what was, you know, a back and forth battle, a barn burner it's up like until a, that point. It's like The Office, where they, they stare at the camera. Nico just kind of looked at it and then looked back at us, but really impressive play by Shine. Definitely not gonna doubt him on these picks now. Absolutely. <coughs> Shine, of course, you know, as I've mentioned a couple times before, a counter pick aficionado. So maybe we'll see a different character. If we do go back to Pokemon Stadium 2, the character wasn't necessarily the issue because as I said, you know, he was playing this game well. He was only 40% down. That's a deficit you can make up with DK. We're gonna see Donkey Kong once again. So, Chine perhaps dancing with the one who brought him. 
I mean, definitely proved me wrong about that uh, DK pick. So Shine's got an answer right now. Really impressive for him to go toe to toe, especially against a top player like Nico. But as soon as they say that, here comes Nico with all these barrage of aerials. Dash tech on Ilium to get him in close to 76% already on this DK. Yeah, the F smash will outrange anything that DK has. And the fourth just getting that unanswered damage already back in the disadvantage. The, the, the second F smash won't kill though. Good DI from Shine. And great reversal using an up B in that back there. Great edge guard. Nico with an impressive lead already. He's finally got a download, it seems like, on Shine. Yeah, excellent work for Nico. That's the down air, though, and not a moment too soon. That's the ultimate no you coming in from Shine. And Nico, all of a sudden, looking on the back foot and playing on the back foot. Mm -hmm. That definitely was a great job by Shine. You know, forcefully pulling that momentum back in his favor. And as soon as he say that, he's able to get away from these aerials back here. Demands so much respect. Nico forcing his really bad situations and great usage of the Monado Arts to get him out. Speed is back online, and here comes the Donk, but unable to find anything else. Percentages are evened up. Remember, DK is a little heavier than usual. He is, but the second up air in a row will close it up. Nico not even needing an advantageous art to close out Shine's second stock. And all of a sudden, this is where we're going to see Nico retreat a little bit. <laughs> and this is the moment where I wish we had the player cams on at the moment because Shine is just laughing through this one. He just knows the, the ridiculousness of that interaction right there. Off to skip the ledge entirely. Perhaps not the and move. Goes to the dare, but at too low of a percent to kill. Shine just told Nico when he switched the shield back. <laughs> So he's not able to find himself in the situation. He's shielding away from the up tilt. 122%. This smells disaster. Shine having a little laugh, but great job by him. Just that quick look towards the camera that I know. I, I know what happened. Nico, you know, against a character like DK with, 